Hi, I'm Barry Shoulder, and I'm the maker of the Barry Shoulder Gourd Banjos. This is one of my models here. This is number 28. I sign all my banjos on the back. It's just like a painting. Uh, the artist signs it, and they're numbered. Uh, my banjos, all, most of the necks that I make are all uh, standard bluegrass banjo dimensions. Uh, I try to keep that keep them that way, so. Uh, the average guy that plays the banjo can uh, pick it right up. Uh, I try to use different woods, exotic woods. This particular banjo has uh, red oak on it, and it's real nice. The fingerboard is ebony, and it's fretless. If you can play old-time banjo or claw hammers, two finger up picking, things like that, you'll adapt real easy. Your fingers begin to know where they're supposed to go and uh, it can be very addicting. The uh, peg head on this, the overlay on this particular banjo is Cocobolo. It's beautiful wood. It's very highly figured. And uh, I use violin tuner pegs. They're all friction pegs. They work just fine. I, once you uh, get them set and everything in the banjo tune, they don't uh, tend to slip like you might think. The strings on this banjo are D'Addario strings. Uh, they're nylon composite classical guitar strings. They're, they're great. They have a hard feel to them. They're a lot better, as I've found, than the Nile gut, which are, feel very noodly, sort of. So uh, this is the set that I put on, on all of my banjos when I send them out. Uh, the tone on my banjos really varies, varies from the size of the gourd. Now this is a pretty big gourd. This is almost 11 inches, might be a little bit more than that. And it's about six inches deep. This banjo has a lot of deep bass to it because of so much uh, volume inside. Uh, I've used different size gourds um, just for variety. Uh, occasionally I use a canteen gourd, which is very flat. This particular model here, this is my player that I always use. This has a canteen gourd, and as you can see, it's a lot flatter. Still plays good. It's got a lot more punch. So it just kind of depends on the tone you're looking for. I always cut a hole in the gourd uh, so you can get better tone response. You get a lot better bass response out of this. The insides of my gourds I coat uh, with a two-part epoxy glaze coat. This reinforces the gourd a bit more, and I think it uh, gives a little bit better uh, tone reproduction. The heads are covered in goat skin, ebony, tailpiece, maple bridge, uh, maple nut down here. Uh, I try to I try to approach every gourd as an artistic project. Some of it sounds kind of corny, but uh, that's what I do. Uh, I try to use different tones, different contrast in the all the uh, instruments that I make. This particular gourd here, or gourd banjo here, uh, is a little bit different. It's got a more of a natural finish on the back. Got some real neat markings. This particular banjo has a cherry neck. It has rosewood tuners and so forth. It's got a rosewood fingerboard. Same kind of strings and everything same tone hole and uh, it's not as thick as the other one. This is about oh, a little over a quarter of an inch thick but it has some pretty good tone to it and it's got a lot of punch. It's, it's a little bit lighter than the other one and so forth but uh, again it's a good player and it just depends on, on what you like to uh, what kind of tone you're expecting out and so forth. Oh, Also on this one it has kind of a more traditional bluegrass looking uh, peg head on it. It's got an ebony overlay here, so that's just kind of a real basic. This is just a real good plain banjo, real basic thing. It'll fit in a, 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 a gig bag, so you don't, won't have any trouble uh, toting it around to any jams here. Let me play a little tune. This is uh, a little Bruce Mulski tune called Half Past Four. <laughs> Thank you. 
might want to check out my website www.signandart.com click on banjos and you'll see what I've got there uh, I usually have a lot of banjos on sale on eBay and if you go to eBay and you search gourd banjos you should find some of my banjos there I hope you'll consider them <laughs>